Welcome to day 10 of 30 days of Lightroom. Today we're gonna to show you how to remove anything from your images using AI in Lightroom. Hello and welcome back to the series where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom Classic in 30 days. Today we're doing a big one, which is object removal. And finally, AI object removal has been added to Lightroom. It's so powerful, honestly. It's just the tool for the job. So in today's video, we're gonna be using a raw photograph. We're gonna be removing people from this image and doing quite a bit of other work to it. You're gonna see it's so incredibly easy to do this. Let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are in Lightroom. Now we're working on a raw photo that you can download completely free and follow along with today's video. Just click on the link right down below. So everything looks great. Now this happens quite a bit in photography where you have your main subject, but maybe the lighting isn't that great. So we have someone here holding basically a diffusion panel that's making sure we don't have direct sunlight in our subject's face. And then she has a reflector that's reflecting light back on to the subject. Now. We don't want these people in the final shot. So we're gonna move right into our develop module and remove them. So let's go ahead and click here on develop and we're gonna go right over here to our object removal tools. Remove or you can hit Q. Now this is the key right here. You wanna make sure it says use generative AI. Super important there. Now this is so incredibly easy. You can make your uh, brush larger and smaller by using your open close brackets on your keyboard or you can simply just change the size. Okay, so what you wanna do is simply paint over the thing that you want to remove. You can go a little bit larger, that's totally okay. Make sure you, if it's a person, that you get their shadow as well. All right, so I went ahead and painted over them. You can see we now have this red overlay. I can add to this or subtract from it if I need to, but it looks really good. So now we're just gonna go right here to remove. Click on that and it's gonna remove this area using AI, our best friend. Oh my gosh, look how <laughs> seamless that was. Incredibly simple, I absolutely love it. So we're gonna get rid of this person here on the right hand side too. Thank you very much, you were very helpful during the photo shoot, but we don't need you in the final photograph. So we went ahead and selected them again. If you need to, let's say we, I, I missed this little bit of reflector, you can just click here on add and then make sure you just add to that area as well. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and click on remove. And literally, this is all there is to it. Absolutely amazing. Now, there are other removal tools here in Lightroom Classic. You can use the spot healing brush tool. You can even use a clone stamp tool. But I'm going to just give you my honest opinion. Just use the remove tool and use generative AI because it's just going to work so much better than these other tools. Okay, now you do have some options. So you have variations just like in Photoshop. If you want to, you can see I just removed that lady, but I have a few different variations. You can click through those to see the variations that you like. All right, I think this looks great. I mean, let's just click on that slash key above enter or return. That's the before and that's the after, right? How insane is that? So let's just go ahead. There's our, there we go. There we go, there's that before and there's the after. Now there's a lot of other stuff I wanna do to this photo cause it's like, all right, cool, the people are gone, but I want, <laughs> I actually wanna edit this photo. So we're gonna go here to our editing. Let's go to basic and we're gonna bring up our exposure just a little bit. We're gonna really bring up those shadow levels. There we go. I wanna bring up the vibrance, really get that blue color to pop. Now we're also gonna go here into our masking. Okay, I wanna go ahead and select our subject there we go, look at that, beautifully found the subject. And we're gonna bring our exposure up with the subject just a little bit. I love that. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new mask. We're gonna to go to a radial gradient. I'm gonna click and drag this out just like that. Boom, put some light in that photo. There we go, right where our subject is. I think this is looking great. And because they used a reflector and a diffusion panel, our subject is not overexposed. Really cool. Now. You might be thinking, okay, looks pretty good. I think we're ready to publish, but there's another thing I wanna do to this photo. It's because like, it, like, look how architectural this photograph is. And when something is like this close to being symmetrical, but it's not symmetrical, for me, it really bothers me, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna transform it. We're gonna skew this entire photograph a little bit, and that's gonna help it look more symmetrical from left and the right. You can see how it's like, it's kind of like tilted one way. Okay, so we're gonna go over here where it says transform. 
Now you can click here on auto and it's just gonna do like a crazy lot of work, but with a person in there, that's not always what you want. So we're gonna see about a horizontal transformation and a vertical. So let's just go with the vertical up and down. It looks pretty good where it is, but the horizontal, where there we go. We're just gonna kind of bring that right over there and look how much more centered our subject looks now. It looks so, so, so much better. And we're gonna rotate that around. Fantastic. So let's just go ahead and bring this right there. Now we're gonna wind up cropping into this photo a little bit as well, right? So it's not a huge deal that our subject isn't in the exact right center, but we just wanna make sure that this, uh, like the background looks a lot more even than before. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our crop tool. And again, the subject is here. She looks great, but there's a lot of information here we just don't need in this photograph. So we're gonna take this, okay? and just click and drag this in. So we have a much more symmetrical version of our photograph and it's definitely like more centered on our subject. And from here, I can still go in and change this horizontal. There we go. We're just gonna do this just a little bit and like right about there, I think we're looking really good. Okay, I love that. So we can see if I just like go to this where it says transform, if I go to this little eyeball here, I can see there's the before and after with the transformation. So you can see the before, it's just kind of skewed a little bit and there in the after, everything looks a little bit more parallel. Everything just looks a little bit uh, better. And of course, if I hit the slash key, there's our before. Okay, this is the slash key right above enter or return. There's our before and there's the after, okay? You can also go right over here. You can see the before and after views here. So you can see before and after, and there's a few different ways to do before and after, okay? You can actually cycle through and you can zoom in and see your before and after just like this. There's a few different views, top down, bottom up. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and look at just the image now. I like using the slash key. So slash is right above enter or return. There's that before and after. What a difference we're able to make removing those people from our image, but then also just drawing a lot more attention to the subject and that transform I think made a huge difference here as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can download this raw photograph, follow along step by step. Just follow the link right down below. It's totally free to sign up for 30 days of Lightroom. Thanks again and we will see you tomorrow for more Lightroom knowledge. <laughs> Bye everyone.